Hi, welcome to uh, another demo. This one's showing you the Microelectronica. Um, this is a graphics display again, 128 by 64 on the Easy Pick version 7. Uh, this video is demonstrating uh, Microelectronica's Visual GLCD. Simple program to install, a standalone program, it costs $99. <coughs> Excuse me, so I'll have to pay import tax if you live in the UK. Uh, yeah, $99 and it creates simple uh, images like this uh, with a touch screen. So you can see I've uh, got this one ready already. Uh, YouTube demo, it does nothing when you touch it other than change colour. But then you see this next. So that's uh, from the previous video of Mandy's car. But what I've done, I've set the wheels up as buttons. So this back wheel, right, click it hard enough, it goes back. And then this front wheel goes forward. And that's uh, another car drew in paint, remembering 12864 pixels, monochrome. Uh, and that's just a B for a back button. And back again. Back to the beginning. So 128.64. Uh, I didn't explain too much about the microcontroller we're using on these. Uh, the microchips PIC 18F. Uh, this particular one's the PIC 18F 45K22. Um, I'll show you the rest of the board. Difference with the uh, between the 18F and the 877s, like this one here, or 887s. Um, this one's only got about 8K of RAM, 8 to 14K of RAM, uh, which isn't enough for graphics. The 18F uh, 45K22's got, got about 32K of RAM, and this simple program you've just seen uses up about 98% of the RAM, so you can't actually fit much more. Um, so let me quickly move you to the screen again. Well, that's just showing you the pick a microchips data sheet. Uh, <coughs> you see there we got yeah 32k of RAM. Uh, don't forget the yeah the 887s uh, and 877s only got 8k. Yeah, and we're using 98% of this memory just for a few pictures. Uh, same as the last video, up 98, 99%. Uh, so before I forget, some of you will be wondering how you wire it up. Come to that one in a minute. With uh, Microelectronica, you get the wiring diagram. If I zoom out, so we are interested in the graphic display. Gives you the whole layout for the whole board. So that's the display here. That's the 40 pin socket. Uh, obviously 40 pin socket if you're using analog to digital converters they're the pots on board or contrast the LCD all the pinouts everything you need to know so if I zoom in so if you're thinking of getting a display and you've got a uh, micro C pro for pick get a display like this I, I believe the microcontroller is the is the KS0108 all compatible controllers and you see there chip select 1, chip select 2, ground, power, read, write, enable all the data bits, reset uh, and then power for the LEDs. It goes to a resistor because the board turns the lights on and off with a transistor but you don't need that. Um, you'll see the LCD display but anyway we're concentrating on this graphic display I'll zoom in enough, should be able to copy all that down. Leave it on there for a minute. So you see, there's all pinouts. Uh, for example, power, RB0, RB1, RB2, uh, RB5, that sort of thing. And the LED up the top there. So that's the power. Um, let me see, so this is the Visual Studio. So if I go to the start screen, 
uh, gives you loads of examples. You can, depending on what software you're using, uh, whether it's Micro C or Micro Basic, something like that, or different uh, processors, microcontrollers. If you've got the smart screen, the 240 by uh, 128, you've got another demo code. If you've got their smart screens, another demo code. But what I've done already, so cancel this, I've actually got set up on here uh, analog to digital converter that uh, converts the image to the screen there. So all you do, there's screen one, you can add a button there. If I'll show you on the side, you simply click one of these buttons or an image, drag it over, and go. I'll show you down there. Screen two, screen three, and screen four. I just click now. So screen two, is, you can write some instructions for yourself. They've written some for me or any other new user. Screen three and screen four. So that's using the visual GLCD as I say, standalone package. Uh, you still need the Microelectronica programmer or some sort of programmer to program the code. Uh, what I will do. So you saw that. Let me. Uh, this is their programmer. Not that one. I want that one there. So it's a bit like any other programmer. Standalone software. I'm going to quickly show you that analog to digital converter. So if I load the hex file, there it is up there. You got RT, yeah, real time clock calendar. Touchscreen demo two cars for you to use. The one you've just seen. Man, these beetle moving rights, the one you saw earlier, if you looked. Right, this is the ADC with gauge. So I've loaded it with this uh, micro program suite. I loaded it, so now I just need to write. The version, Easy Pick version 7's got the programmer on board, so you just need a USB lead, and that's it. Right, hopefully that will work. Go back to the board. Now, because it's a touch screen, by default, the uh, program's already got written into it the calibration for the touch screen. As you might hopefully be able to see there. I don't know if you need the light on or not. Right, touch screen, so there's a tiny little dot down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. I need a little dot down here, so we have to touch that, then touch the top right. Right, and this is the analog to digital converter demo that you get with the uh, Microelectronica and the Visual GLCD. Right, next, it says telling me to close port RA3 with a little jump over here, which I already have done. Next, I have you a quick read of that. Next, clever little gaze that you could uh, import into paint and change these uh, values, whatever you like, stick it in your fridge freezer, put different temperatures. So we go start, and all we do is turn this pot here, and it's giving you the value here, uh, and obviously moving the needle as well. Um, I don't know if it's 10, 10 bit or 11 bit, but it goes up to 1023. So you can see halfway we've got 503. Keep on turning it 570. So 615, 620. So it's quite accurate, it hasn't jumped to the next scale yet. Four, five. So 10, 23. Obviously, the maximum bit. I don't know if that's a 10 bit or 12 bit, not sure. And that's just uh, one of the examples in Visual GLCD. Uh, so there's nothing more of it. You've got the wiring for the pot with the wiring diagram for Easy Pick 7. Uh, what I'll quickly do now, using that same micro prog suite as it's called, I'm going to load the real time clock. Write that to the board without touching anything. Oh, and I'm out of time.